Out of Our Heads is the third British and fourth American studio album by the English rock band The Rolling Stones, released in two editions with different covers and track listings. In the US, London Records released it on July 30, 1965, while Decca Records released its UK edition on September 24, 1965. Besides the key band members of singer Mick Jagger, guitarist Brian Jones and Keith Richards, bassist Bill Wyman, and drummer Charlie Watts, the album also contains musical contributions from former Rolling Stones member Ian Stewart. It was produced by the group's manager Andrew Lou Golden. As with the prior two albums, it consists mostly of covers of American blues, soul and rhythm and blues songs, though the group wrote some of their own material for this album. The American version contains Satisfaction, which would be the band's first number one US hit, and would go on to top the charts in ten other countries, including the band's native UK, and being ranked as the second greatest song of all time by Rolling Stone. Out of Our Heads became the group's first number one on the American Billboard 200 album chart, in the UK it charted at number two. The majority of the songs on Out of Our Heads were written and previously recorded by American rhythm and blues artists. According to music critic Richie Unterberger, the album's U.S. release largely had mid-1960s soul covers and classic rock singles written by the band, including The Last Time, Play With Fire, and Satisfaction, still drew on the band's R&B and blues roots, but were updated to a more guitar-based, thoroughly contemporary context. Among the soul covers were Marvin Gaye's Hitchhike, Solomon Burke's Cry To Me, and Sam Cooke's Good Times. Kent H. Benjamin of the Austin Chronicle wrote that the album is the culmination of the Stones' early soul-slash-R&B sound. Writing of the album's UK edition, all music's Bruce Etter characterized it as rock and roll and R&B. The British Out of Our Heads, with a different cover, added songs that would surface later in the US on December's Children, and Everybody's, and others that had not been released in the UK thus far instead of the already released live track and recent hit singles. Issued later that September, Out of Our Heads reached number two in the UK charts behind the Beatles' help. It was the Rolling Stones' last UK album to rely upon rhythm and blues covers, the forthcoming aftermath was entirely composed by Mick Jagger and Keith Richards. Initially issued in July 1965 in the US, Out of Our Heads was a mixture of recordings made over a six-month period. Including the top ten hit The Last Time and the worldwide number one satisfaction with B-sides as well as a track from the UK only live EP Got Live If You Want It. Six songs would be included in the UK version of the album. One More Try is an original that was not released in the UK until 1971 Stone Age. Riding the wave of satisfaction success, Out of Our Heads became the Rolling Stones' first US number one album, eventually going platinum. The US edition of the album was included in Robert Chris Gow's basic record library of 1950s and 1960s recordings, published in Chris Gow's record guide, Rock Albums of the 70s. In 2003, this edition was also listed at number 114 on the list of Rolling Stone's 500 Greatest Albums of All Time, then was re-ranked at number 116 in the 2012 revised list. In August 2002 both the US and UK editions of Out of Our Heads were reissued in a new remastered CD in SAC Digipack by Abco Records. The Rolling Stones is per the American release, additional personnel. Thanks for watching.